Good morning everyone. Welcome back to the Western Wilds. Big day ahead. It's bang bang explosion time. Yeah, it's gonna be good. So he says. Right, uh, let's head on down there. We are not taking the truck. We are walking this morning. <clears throat> I've got a lot of adrenaline rushing in me. The engineer has said he is ready for us. So hopefully, we'll get down there in plenty of time. What we have done this morning is we've loaded up a load of pieces and bobs, as you can see, that are going up to the warehouse, but we're not going to do that today. Um, we loaded it up, we decided we were going to do it, and then we got the phone call about everything's ready, weather looks fine, and everything else. So this is going to stay here now instead. I'll just run in and got changed quickly. Put on a warmer coat because it is still rather cold. You see, there's still some snow on some of the rocks and top of the fence line. But apparently, we're good to go. Um, the reason I'm walking down there is because if all goes according to plan, I shall be driving the truck back out. So there's no sense in leaving it down there. We won't need it for the water, that's for certain. So I shall uh, see you very soon. Here we go. Right, we're here. Whoa, my legs are sore. Uh, it's a bit old walk. Big old walk. Oh, good. He didn't blow it yet. That's fantastic. Shan't be long though, surely. Uh, the engineer's not here, is he? Oh, for Golden Bennett. Right, let me just give him a message quickly. Uh, right, well, welcome back. Um, the engineer is, is here now. He's inside there doing the prep work. Uh, ready for the explosion. I don't know how loud this will be. So, um, yeah, whether or not I'll, uh, this wrecks the footage or not, um, I don't know. So, we've got to get ready for the big bang. So, hopefully, we'll be able to show you it. If we don't, I do apologise. But I've got to get in here and out the way for now. Um, while he finishes off. And hopefully, we'll see you soon. Wait, let me in then. <laughs> Holy cow! Whoa! Whoa! Oh, wow, hello! Uh, oh, I might be a bit shouty. My ears are still... Uh, we've got the go-ahead that we can go in now. Um, the mess has been cleared out the entrance. We can finally see what's down here. Uh, we've still got all these wooden blocks to move. All this panelling at some point. But we can get inside it now. It's safe. And... Uh, These old shacks. Uh, yeah, that ain't budging. I ain't budging. Okay. Looks like some land landfill in there. That rock as this lodge there. Look at that. That's where that gap was. That's where the lodge that's where look that rock dislodged. Look, it stood straight under that roof. That is dangerous. What they got here? Uh, oh, gold. They're old explosives. Barrels. Old portaloo. Ugh. Oh, look. That's the same one our engineer uses. That's an explosion, Captain. Have they blocked up the door? They have. Pallets of crap. Lock containers. A bit old and rusty. Generator. Some old IBC cages. Some old power generator. These these things are old, aren't they? 
Mind you, you can still make a few pennies out of them. I'll check up there in a minute. Not seeing much treasures. Some old wheel loaders. See if any of these work. Nothing. Even the pedal won't move down. Solid shut. Alright. Let's see about the other one. One of these working, that'd be worth a fortune. Oh, these ones have got teeth on them. That train echoes in here. God, blimey, does that echo. Oh, that makes you feel dizzy. Alright, I know that's passed. Uh, let's get on in this one. This one's worse than the first. The steering don't move, the pedals are solid. This stinks inside it. Nothing. Uh, what about this old thing? see a set of keys anywhere oh, hold on what's that right let's try this wants to Oh, what power. Let's press it out. And did that just die? It did. Come on. All right. Well. Unfortunately, that well, it runs. It's an old fear, but it runs. It just keeps cutting out. It probably needs new, fresh oil, fresh uh, fuel in it or something. Get whatever's in there out. You'd think these things were diesel, but this is an old petrol one. Maybe even worth a few pennies. Um, can't see it's really having a need for this on the farm, but I can't imagine this hauling too much weight. Being as old it is. But it's something. Uh, look at all the tyre tracks in here. For however long these have been in the ground for, there's a certain lot of tyre tire tracks. Wow, well, look at it here. An old messy, is that 240? Oh wow, that is an old one, look at that. Drawbar. And this is what they've been using I guess well, it looks it doesn't look rotten it just looks filthy alright uh, let's get on here uh, there's a key in the ignition would you have to believe it it starts Power, come on. Oh, it's dead again. Whoa, malfunctioning, that's for certain. Um, that is really annoying, and it's missing its bucket now. Oh, well, I managed to get the bucket back on it. Um, I'll just pull it up here. Uh, well, yeah, I don't know. Something's not working right on it because for some reason the hooters are connected to the ignition. Um, it runs, 
it's not smooth at all. It probably just needs a bit of TLC. But it runs. And we managed to get the bucket back on. Um, but this is the stuff. Um, this, I'll be completely honest with you. This is not my expert area at all or area of expertise but this I would say looks like river yeah river riverbed gravels and um, if I know anything about riverbed riverbed gravels is it can contains gold and there is a lot of it in here I mean just by the look of this the way this is um, and how high some of it goes up to here. I would have to say that this whole area was full of this stuff. And they've almost mined it completely out. And there's a just... Oh no, a couple of maybe 100 tons left. In here. To get out. I mean they couldn't have worked with this above their head. That, that's got to be impossible. This, this must be something they've done to seal it off. For some unknown reason. But we, we would have to get someone in to do this. Get rid of all this. Um, I can't do that. That's... It'll take too long. I will have to get someone to come down. Maybe my builders will come down and gut this place for us. See what they could do with the... Uh, with all this. I can imagine it's going to cost a fortune, though. It's a good thing we've made some money. And we've got the oil to come as well. Might have to get this towed out. Unless we can get someone in to fix that. That, it drives. But it's really, really loud. Um, I'll probably have to get that on a bed out here or something. But I'll definitely get Eddie to come down and have a look at this riverbed. Because I'm I, the only thing I can think of is it's got to be gold. And he keeps on about getting to meet this Owen fella of his. Um, we definitely have a ton of stone now. But this isn't the stuff from the fields. This is proper stuff. And there is a lot of it. Well, I say a lot of it. It's not endless supply, but it's definitely a fair whack. Right. Let's... Uh it's disappointing I didn't find any great big gold bullions or treasure or some sort of priceless red. Ooh, that is dangerous. Look at that. It's like that rock sandwich between two others. Ooh, that is dangerous. Shouldn't really do that. Okay, so I jinx it. Right, well. Um, fantastic. I'll have to, yeah, I'll definitely have to get someone to move all that. Uh, uh, trying to think what we should do now. I'm gonna definitely take the truck back while I'm here. I'm gonna leave the, I might as well leave the tent set up. Um, yeah, this is interesting. I'm gonna have to wait for Eddie to get back. Um, uh, he's not here at the moment. He's gone away to the summer climates, if you all remember. Here we go. Oh, I do like this truck. It's nice. It's not even very loud inside. It's very retro. Not by too much, but it is. Ooh, I'm going to slow down for in here. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna head home. Um. I'm a little bit shocked, really. I suppose I built it up too much in my own head that I was going to find actual treasure. Oh, dear. I think I nearly crashed the uh, truck then. I'm not with it at the moment. That's, that's threw me for six. Now, if it, I mean, yeah, if it turns out to be river, riverbed rock, um, riverbed gravel, uh, and it has gold in it, that's great news. But, um, yeah... I think you know what I mean. It's just like an anticlimax. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe maybe this is really good news. I was expecting... I was just expecting something a bit more special, I think. Maybe I'm being silly. Uh, 
idea. Right, well, I just think I've got no way to put park this really. Alright, well, um, yeah, let's get this stuff up, put away in the warehouse. No sense in leaving it out now. Alright, well, that's everything unloaded. All inside, perfect, perfect. All right. There we go, perfect, perfect, perfect. We're gonna head on back as quick as we can. And uh, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna make some phone calls, see if I can get an estimation for removing all that down there and possibly getting those pieces of equipment sent up to us. Or brought up to us, save us having to get a flatbed. Maybe, uh, maybe get JJ's to see if they'll give us a quote of doing all the work. They're normally our go to guys, they, they're pretty good at what they do. There we go. Just gonna pull this out here. We are gonna need it again very soon. Alright. Uh, yeah, um, you will notice one thing, the grapes, they're gone, uh, the winter killed them basically, they completely killed the vine dead, so, yeah, we gutted it all, it's, it's, it's just, they're not viable around here, I know they're not used for anything fancy, they're just grapes, um, you can't exactly use them for wine or, uh, even making juice with because of their quality, but um, it was an extra source of income. The, the little society that came down and collected them every day, but yeah, it was nice while it lasted. So now we've got this barren area. I'm not exactly sure what to do. Um, someone has, some people have suggested I could get a little, uh, another little greenhouse, put some strawberries in. It's a possibility. Um, Greenhouse is not overly expensive. We get a flat pack one like we did with the tomatoes over here, and uh, and have a small strawberry patch. It's something we could do. Um, no guarantees, but it is worth thinking about. It really is. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go make some calls. Give JJ's a ring, um, and we'll see you in a couple of days. There's not much to do at the moment until February, but I will be checking the animals and topping them up if needed in the next day or two. So hopefully you will see me before the end of the month. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, it's January the 4th. It snowed like a trooper last night. So we've got a nice covering this afternoon still. Um, so we really did get that done when we had <laughs> the right time. Uh, I haven't heard anything back from JJ's, um, but they probably won't get back to us straight away. Uh, and even when they do, they're probably going to want to go inspect the site first. But what I have done is had a phone call from Keith and Sarah. Um, they've, they've said they've got a truck in on on uh, on spec at the minute, uh, and it's below 40k. It's not the one we want specifically. Uh, that next one would probably be the one that we really wanted, but it is a nice old truck, they said, and it should do us well for what we wanted for it, uh, which is basically hauling. So we're going to go have a look at it. Um, the reason I'm walking is because we've got the cash, so if we buy it, we've obviously got to drive it back. Ugh. Oh, my feet are cold. Let's get a pair of boots. No fear, we are here. Right, let's uh, go see Keith and Sarah. So this is the vehicle. We bought it. Uh, no questions asked, really. We bought it. It's a uh, it's a Phoenix series 
max style truck twin exhausts uh, I believe these are a Canadian because they're longer on the muffler but I can't be certain um, yeah it's solid fixed rigged so we can't attach to we can only attach to certain styles of beds which are fine um, just getting us a few ready now to have a look at I just thought whilst they're doing that we can uh, have a look at our new truck there we go now look at that isn't it nice uh, we've got CB radio as standard not that we've got anyone to talk to um, you can see the steering here is it's, it's a little bit higher than I'd like it of an angle but it's comfy nonetheless armrests are good gear sticks very large you've got all the cons mod cons you want and listen to her and then she just purrs absolutely lovely and this is a two person obviously cab so quite standard on that front and there we go alright so now we're just going to hop in and see what beds we can get So here's a dumper bed for it. These are all around about five grand. So it's just going to take us a couple of trips to get these back home. But it'll be worth it. Alright. Let's get moving. Alright, we'll go with a dumper first. There we go, that's all hooked up, lovely. I mean, doesn't that look very nice? Right. Let me get this one back. And put on a platform bed. Got these uh, hydraulic wheels that come out uh, like a stand almost. And there are, there's about 30 grand's worth of upgrades we can do to the engine to really soup it up if ever we need the power for it. And for the time being, I think we're going to pop these over in here. The best place for them. Uh, yeah, all the legs are out fine. Not the way this all just disappears in. We're completely clear. Alright, let's go get the other piece then. There we go. That's all the fix, lovely. Right. That looks really good. Really good on there. You should be able to fit a fair amount on there as well. Weight would be the only thing that stopped us. Right. So they could do with some power steering fluid in it. Blind me. So before we park this up, I'm going to go around with this and check the animals quickly. Just to make sure they're all right. sheepies and chick chicks <sighs> hey stick your head through there you'll get hurt go on shoo stupid sheep they're on a good feast that's good they got plenty of food now the chickens doing all they could do with topping up but they're happy as Larry's that's always good and they're producing me some eggs, which is very nice. I like that. So chickens are on the agenda to fill up. <clears throat> they're all, it looks like they've got plenty of food for the next few days anyway. Which is always good considering um, the weather we've been having recently. Right, this looks nice now, but this morning, whoo, was it cold full of snow? 
And I think we're going to need some more sheds. And in the meantime, we're going to use this area just to keep our trailers and that in. go beautiful right well i'll call that one an end to today um i will see you in february where we'll be selling the oil getting that all done getting it sold off and uh, be having happy days with that till then take care it's been matty g peace out can't believe there weren't no gold bars in it still annoying me that is I wanted massive gold bars. Yeah.